What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Booba Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, heavyweight, British superstar, title contender, Joe Joyce, knockout, Carlos Tackham in dramatic fashion in the sixth round. Joe Joyce is proven to be better than what most people have pegged him to be. Joe Joyce, he recently knocked out Daniel DuBose, and now he's knocked out Carlos Tackham, and he's proven to be very, very durable. Joe Joyce has proven to be better than what most people expected. Joe Joyce is not the most athletically gifted guy, and that's the reason why I believe Joe Joyce is overlooked. But Joe Joyce is proven to be very, very durable. He's proven to have a sturdy chin. He's proven to be very, very, uh, um, a very, very good heavyweight, okay? Joe Joyce uh, is 13 wins, no losses, no draws, 12 wins by way of knockout. He's uh, 35 years of age, stands a 6'6 six six with an 80 inch arm reach. Uh, and part of the reason that Joe Joyce is overlooked is because of his age, okay? Because of his late start in the sport of boxing at 35 years old. Uh, to have only 13 fights in your career, uh, you expect a guy of Joe Joyce stature, you know, to have many more fights by the 30 time he's 35 years old. Uh, if you just put into perspective, he has a total of 13 fights in his career at 35 years old. Okay. And then you look at Deontay Wilder, who is also 35 years of age. Uh, and he has 42 wins, one loss, one draw, total of 44 fights with 41 knockouts at 35 years of age. OK, uh, so he's much more busy. Joe Joyce has essentially just started his career. Joe Joyce is older than Tyson Fury and he's older than Anthony Joshua. OK, uh, so Joe Joyce is on a fast track. Uh, he's looking to fight the absolute best fighters and fights out there because he doesn't have time. Anthony Joshua, 24 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 wins by way of knockout. He himself was knocked out, okay? Uh, Anthony Joshua has 25 fights, okay? So he nearly has double the amount of fights Joe Joyce has. And Anthony Joshua is 31 years of age, 6'6", six six with an 82-inch arm reach, okay? Uh, then, obviously, you look at Tyson Fury, okay? Uh, Tyson Fury is another guy. Uh, Tyson Fury has... A total of uh, 31 fights in his career, okay? Uh, uh, 30 wins, no losses, one draw. 21 wins by way of knockout. Uh, he's 32 years of age, 6'9", with an 85-inch arm reach, okay? So at 32, he has uh, double the fights of Joe Joyce. Anthony Joshua nearly had. He's one fight off from removed from being double the fights of Joe Joyce. Uh, and Deontay Wilder has double the fights of Joe Joyce. And they're all Joe Joyce's age or younger. So that's the reason why Joe Joyce gets overlooked. Nonetheless, Joe Joyce has proven to be a very, very good heavyweight, okay? Uh, and again, like I stated, he knocked out Carlos Tackham. Now, Carlos Tackham is, you know, a journeyman at the very least, okay? Uh, Carlos Tackham, 39 wins, 6 losses, a draw, 28 wins by way of knockout. Four times in his career, he's been knocked out. Uh, but he does have power. He does. Uh, he is durable. But he is 40 years of age, uh, six foot one and a half with an 80 inch arm reach. OK, so he lost, you know, um, and this fight was for the WBC silver t title, the WBO international uh, heavyweight title and the Commonwealth, the Commonwealth British Empire heavyweight title. OK, uh, so with that stated, um, you know, He's put himself in position to become the mandatory challenger for Anthony Joshua uh, when uh, when he takes on WBO former cruiserweight undisputed world champion turned WBO heavyweight title contender and mandatory challenger in Olesandr Usyk. So Anthony Joshua he's set to t face Olesandr Usyk uh, September 25th. Okay, uh, Olesandr Usyk is another guy you know, um, who's up, up there in age, and but hasn't had many fights. Olesandr Usyk has a total of 18 fights, no losses, no draws, uh, 13 wins by way of knockout, uh, excuse me, 18 wins, no losses, no draws, 13 wins by way of knockout, 
He too, 34 years of age, six foot three with a 78 inch arm reach. Okay. I expect Anthony Joshua to win that fight running away. Okay. I uh, don't like um, how all this end Usyk stacks up against the heavyweight division, especially the upper echelon in the heavyweight division. So I'm expecting uh, Anthony Joshua to, to run away with that fight. Nonetheless, Joe Joyce lets it be known that Anthony Joshua can't forget focusing on the winner of the highly anticipated trilogy match between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury that initially was scheduled for today. It was supposed to be today, uh, July 24th, and then it had been moved back to uh, October 9th now. Uh, but uh, uh, Joe Joyce got a, two knockouts in a row, two big knockouts, okay? Um, he's proven to be durable. Again, uh, he's proven to be much better than what I expected. And uh, he's put himself in position for a title opportunity, and he's not going to squander it away, nor is he going to allow them to maneuver around him, okay? So Joe Joyce is letting it be known that Anthony Joshua uh, can forget focusing on facing the winner of Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder trilogy, because he's going, the winner of that fight, should he be victorious, is going to have to face me, and I need my opportunity ASAP, as he's not getting any younger, and which you can understand, okay? Uh, and you have guys like Tony Bellew. Tony Bellew is now saying that he believes that Joe Joyce could be a serious, serious problem for Anthony Joshua, okay? His size, his durability, and his power can be a serious problem for Anthony Joshua, uh, and he's proven his durability being his chin has proven to be, you know, pretty sturdy because Daniel DuBose, he hit Joe Joyce with some pretty big punches in their fight. Uh, but he was able to maneuver. Now, Daniel DuBose is a young guy, 16 wins now, one loss, no draws, 15 wins by way of knockout. One time in his career, he's knocked out, and that's by Joe Joyce. Uh, 23 years of age, six foot five with a 78 inch arm reach, okay? Uh, now, he's come back and got a knockout victory, but uh, most people pick Daniel DuBose to beat Joe Joyce because uh, he was just seemed to be more athletic, more explosive, more fluid. Joe Joyce seems to be very robotic, very stiff. Uh, nonetheless, Joe Joyce, he stopped Daniel DuBose to many people's surprise. And, um, you know, now he's, he's stopped Carlos Tackham and he's put himself in position to earn the title. And he's stating that, you know, uh, he's not going to allow Anthony Joshua to go ahead and fight Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder winner. Uh, he said that the winner of that fight for Undisputed is going to have to hold off until after he himself defeats Anthony Joshua and fights the winner for Undisputed. OK, um, what's interesting is Joe Joyce is very durable, like I stated. Uh, and we saw Anthony Joshua can be very, very chinny at times. OK, Joe Joyce has power. Uh, Joe Joyce does not jump off out at the, out the screen at you, okay? Joe Joyce looks very robotic, very stiff, uh, very predictable. He's very slow, uh, and he seems to be tailor made for quick guys, okay? Not big, thudding, uh, heavy pound, heavy hand, heavy handed fighters, okay? Uh, a Tyson Fury is quick. Deontay Wilder is quick. Anthony Joshua is not the quickest fighter, okay? Anthony Joshua at times can be you know, uh, very robotic himself, okay? Uh, and Anthony Joshua, he struggles with stamina issues, which Joe Joyce seems to not have issues with. Uh, to many people's surprise, being such a big guy. But Joe Joyce is able to take a punch, ultimately. And if he's able to withstand Anthony Joshua's punches, as Tony Bell, you stated, you know, uh, he has a sturdy, sturdy granite chin. And if he's able to withstand what Anthony Joshua is dishing out, and the question is going to be because he's big enough, he's rangy enough to touch Anthony Joshua. And we saw Anthony Joshua drop four times and ultimately stop by Andrew Ruiz Jr. June 1st. His uh, American heavyweight debut as a, a professional and as a world champion at Madison Square Garden. And Andy Ruiz Jr., he created history, became the first Mexican heavyweight world champion in history of sport of boxing. And he did so in dramatic fashion. With that said, we've seen Anthony Joshua buzzed on numerous occasions. Uh, Joe Joyce is very heavy-handed. Tonight, when he finished Carlos Tackham, he threw a good 30 punches, at the very least, trying to close the show, and still wasn't breathing heavy. Okay? Uh, he didn't tie himself out. From the moment he hurt Carlos Tackham, he continued to his onslaught. He threw punches after punches. 
He didn't fatigue uh, until he got Carlos Tackham out of there. Okay, uh, that's impressive. And one has to wonder, can he outlast Anthony Joshua? Now, I believe Anthony Joshua is uh, more gifted than Joel Joyce. He's quicker than Joel Joyce, for sure. But I believe that their power and their strength may be about on the same uh, level. And if his stamina can outlast Anthony Joshua's stamina, and he can get Joshua into deep waters, and he can force Anthony Joshua into a hard-fought fight, as we saw him with Vladimir Klitschko, uh, you know, Andy Ruiz, you know, uh, and Anthony Joshua has proven since the Vladimir Klitschko fight, that's one of the best fights I've ever witnessed. Uh, but since that fight, Anthony Joshua has shown us he doesn't like to be in those types of fights. He would much rather be in finesse fights, okay, where he could use his size, his range, his abilities, his skill set to keep you at bay and then get you out of there. Well, that won't be the case with Joe Joyce. Because Joey Joyce is going to match him in size. Now, Anthony Joshua does have an 82-inch arm reach. And Joe Joyce has an 80. So, he's going to have a, a two-inch arm reach advantage over Joe Joyce. But Joe Joyce has a very granted chin. Uh, his stamina is on par. And Anthony Joshua struggles in those areas. Okay? Uh, so, it makes it for a very interesting fight. As Tony Bellew stated, This he can spell disaster. He called him the stiff terminator. He can spell disaster for Anthony Joshua. And that's the reason why I believe that they will not allow Anthony Joshua to fight the winner of Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder because they like their chances. I can't wait. I want to see. That's a very interesting fight. But first thing first, obviously, Anthony Joshua has to get past Ola Sander Usyk in uh, September 25th. And I highly expect him to do so in dramatic fashion. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Ebony Bridges, Blonde Bomber, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV.